Hi everyone, this is Ollie Morton from the Archerfield Performance Centre uh, and I just wanted to follow up on my video last week um, just based upon the various discussions that I've had with my colleague Gary Nicholl from TPEGS and uh, various different people from Trackman and Gears. So um, it's something that's been really interesting from my perspective so I thought I would share it because um, it might be interesting for yourselves. So um, just to walk you through um, last week's video, you know, this gent walked in complaining of hitting the ball um, to the left um, and um, you know, delving into his, his various different numbers. Um, the My conclusions was that his, well, were that his clubs were slightly upright for him. So I was thinking that it was something called face plane tilt um, that was causing this ball to go left. So whilst that might be one answer to the solution, um, I wanted to delve a little bit deeper and just to make sure that it actually was that. So um, it's something that's actually sprung up and another answer to the, to the reasons why it might have been going left is something we call gear effect. Now, gear effect is something that traditionally um, I've been very aware of with drivers and most people probably have heard of it with their drivers. So to try and sum it up really simply that if you hit the ball right or so we say you know with a with a um, with a right-handed golfer if you hit the ball off the toe of the golf club that it's going to make the ball curve left if you hit the ball off the heel of the golf club it's going to make the ball curve right now this is this is effectively the we're talking about an off center so really the center that we speak about in golf is the center of gravity of that golf club so rightly or wrongly over the last few years I've you know, particularly with irons, I've assumed that the centre of gravity of an iron is going to be, well, in the centre of the golf club. But from discussions with different manufacturers and different people that know golf clubs are far better than I do, um, the centre of gravity is actually often with irons could well be towards the heel side of the golf club. So, um, you know, if we now then re we review kind of this gen and, and what was happening last week, that we can see here that... Um, I've got Trackman over here on the left and I've got Gears over here on the right. Now, um, very important to state, I think, first off, that the way that Gears measures impact and gets its data is it measures on first touch and then Trackman measures on maximum compression of that golf ball. So in real terms, a split second later. So, um, and what we can see here is that one of the cool things with Gears is we can actually get some readouts on whereabouts on that club face ball was struck. Now, I calibrated this golf club to the visual center of the golf club. So we can see here that you know, my initial thoughts were, okay, so it was 2.5 millimeters to the, to the toe and 2.9 millimeters above center. So, you know, when reviewing and delving in and looking for some more clues, we can actually see here that through impact, a sort of super slow-mo impact, we can see that this red arrow, which is our club face, does everyone see that? So you can really see that that club face or that red arrow through impact quite significantly moves to the right of that target line. Now this is a really, really good indicator. If I just change the view and we look from the target, we can have a look down here. You can see down here that you know, through impact we can really see again, really opens up, so points to the right, and then again if we go from above, we can really see here through impact, again this red arrow really opens up through impact. So that's a really, really big indicator of this golf ball being struck towards the toe side of the center of gravity. So here I've got it calibrated. So that's really telling me that I've calibrated this golf club, you know, the center of this golf club should be way over here slightly, should be more over here towards the heel. Now, if we then compare this information with Trackman. Trackman's given us some awesome clues to this. So, one, this opening of the club face, this heel, this toe strike, we can see with being a split second later, this face is going to be slightly more open than at impact. So, if I go to impact here on gears, we can see as I toggle through this ever so slightly later through impact, we can see this is say maximum compression now. We can really see that this golf club opens up as we go through maximum compression. So this is impact. And as we see here, as we go through, we can see that this golf club face is opening through impact through to maximum compression. So this explains why Trackman's given his reading his face to path 0.8 degrees right. Now, 
why is this important or what's something, one of these clues to look out for gear effect? Well, we can see here that the spin axis of this golf ball, so if you want to learn more about spin axis, I would recommend going onto TrackMan and checking out their cool info that they've got on the TrackMan University onto their website. But we can see here that this spin axis is negative or 8.5 degrees left. So we can see here that that's quite a lot of curve um, and that's coming from this toe strike or this gear effect. Now, interestingly enough, this gent's golf clubs are blades. So we're seeing quite a lot of gearing here from a bladed iron, which is more than I would have expected and been aware of, you know, um, until this last week. Um, so I guess conclusions from this. One, wanted to delve more into, uh, into this, start to maybe look into whereabouts the center of gravity is on an individual's golf club. So again, some discussions there with different manufacturers. And, and also we need to really, I guess, we need a nice practical way for us as, as coaches or, um, or club fitters to find where the center of gravity is on a golf club. Um, because then we can start to understand gear effect and start to understand why we're seeing the ball flight that we see. So anyway, um, apologies, I wanted this video to be three minutes, not six, but anyway, hopefully that was really uh, informative uh, for you all to see how the different softwares measure again seeing how we can start to use these uh, two bits of kit together um, and then again big massive thanks to the people that I've spoken to this last week to Gary the Trackman guys to, uh, to the guys at Gears Michael Neff and, and Steve Gould um, it's a really cool um, topics and really cool uh, conversations come off the back of this um, I'm going to start delving deeper um, and I hope uh, you all do too okay well thanks very much folks and so hope to see you all soon. Bye now.